This recipe is again broken up into two parts. First, we will cook our veggies and then we will make a white sauce. And then we will assemble everything before baking it in our oven. So, for our veggies, I have taken some capsicum or some bell pepper of three different colors that is red, yellow and green, about one each and chopped it. Then I've taken some broccoli. I've taken about one large onion chopped, about 10 small cloves of garlic finely chopped, about three to four tablespoons of pizza pasta sauce. In our spices, we have some pizza seasoning, some finely ground pepper powder, some chili flakes and salt to taste. So first we will cook our veggies using this. Then we have to prepare a white sauce. For the white sauce, I have taken two tablespoons of maida or all-purpose flour. Then I have taken about one and a half cup of milk and about two tablespoons of butter. With this, we will make our white sauce. Then we will assemble everything. For that, we require about two boiled potatoes sliced, some bread crumbs and some grated cheese. Also, all of this is going to be cooked in some extra virgin olive oil. So let's get started with preparing our veggies. Okay, now we require to heat our pan and put a little bit of olive oil. We don't need to heat our olive oil. I'll add some chopped garlic. Then we will add in our onion. You can add veggies of your own choice. If you like corn, you can add some corn, mushroom. For the non-vegetarians, you can even add boiled chicken, sausage. The list is endless. Now I'm adding in my colorful capsicum or bell peppers. Also this dish is very healthy because you're eating all lovely veggies and colorful veggies. The more colorful your food is, the more healthy it is. We don't need to make our veggies very soft. They need to be a little bit crunchy because it's going to go into the oven to bake. Now we'll add in our broccoli, which is also another very healthy vegetable. This all has to be done on some medium flame, not on a high flame. Now we will add in our seasoning. I'll be adding about two heaped teaspoons of pepper powder. Pepper adds a lovely flavor to the dish. Then goes in about one teaspoon of chili flakes. You can alter this according to your taste. Then goes in some pizza seasoning. I use pizza seasoning because it has all the herbs in it. Give this a good stir. Now we'll add some salt but add very little salt because our pizza pasta sauce also has got a little bit of salt in it. So I'm using just a pinch of salt. To this, we will now add our pizza pasta sauce.
Give this a good mix. Let all the veggies get coated with this sauce. And now we can turn off our gas. And now we will go to prepare our white sauce. For, a, for our white sauce, we'll heat up our pan, our pan a little. To that, we shall add about two tablespoons of butter. Let the butter melt a bit. We need a little bit of a runny sauce and not a very thick sauce. Now that our butter has melted, we'll add in our all-purpose flour or maida, about two tablespoons. And we will give it a little bit of a stir. After about stirring for a minute, this is our white sauce which is ready. It's thickened. Now we will start assembling our baked veggies. Okay, for this you require a baking dish which is oven proof. Also at this time you can turn on your oven and preheat it at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes. First, we will go ahead and put our veggies in the baking dish. So, we will start putting in our first layer of veggies. So, here is my layer of veggies. Just flatten it out. Now we will arrange some boiled and sliced potato on top of this. Don't make very thick slices. After we have put our layered our potatoes, the next thing is pouring our white sauce onto the potatoes. So now we will pour our white sauce over our potatoes. If you are using a non-stick pan then everything works out better because it all comes off easily. Nothing gets stuck to the bottom of the pan. And now again spread it out so that it goes all over. Now we will spread some bread crumbs evenly. This gives it a nice crunch and a lovely color too. So see that it goes all over. Don't forget to preheat your oven. And the last layer is a layer of cheese. I have used processed cheese and grated it. You can use mozzarella too but it gives a more stringy effect so processed cheese works better. And now we will put it into our oven to bake for at least 20 minutes on 180 degrees Celsius. And now we will place it in our oven which is already preheated and we shall bake this for 20 minutes. 
Now I will be showing you how to make some garlic bread which goes very well with this baked veggies. For that what I have done is I have taken some pao and cut it into three strips each like this. Normal pao which we have here. Then I have used a little bit of butter, some chopped garlic as it is garlic bread. Again some pizza seasoning and some cheese. So let's start with preparing our garlic bread. First we'll add the garlic to our butter. And give it a good mix. In the meantime we'll also heat our pan up. Now we will take our slice of bread and apply this garlic butter that is the garlic which we've added to the butter we'll apply it then we'll take some pizza seasoning and sprinkle it and a little bit of cheese too. In this way you can prepare these and keep it aside and then start toasting them on the pan. So here I've prepared a few my pan is a little hot so I'll just put this down and get it very lightly toasted on slow flame. Another way in which you can do it is first apply the garlicky butter, put the seasoning, toast it and once it is toasted then put the cheese. It's up to you which way you like it. These are the ones which have the cheese already on them. You can toast it on the other side. And these are without, without the cheese. So what you can do is turn this and then put some cheese which will melt. Either way they taste fantastic. This is a dish in itself. So with the heat the cheese starts melting. So this is your delicious garlic bread. And we are toasting it on the other end so that we get a nice browning. So our garlic bread is all ready. Now we will wait for our baked dish to get ready. Have it friends. The cheese has become lovely and golden brown. And our garlic bread also looks amazing. So let's cut this up and serve it. And there you have it. The amazing baked vegetables with garlic bread. So friends do try out this recipe and let me know whether you liked it and do give me a thumbs up if you did like it and please do subscribe to my channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and once you have subscribed click on the bell icon so every time I upload a new video you will be the first one to know. Thanks so much for watching this video and this is Akshita signing off saying bye and take care.